Welcome back, everyone. This is journal entry number 16, I believe. And today, we are actually talking about taking a break and breathing and just taking a moment to break away from those dreams, aspirations, and the things you want so badly in life. I'm going to talk about a little example of myself. I found that I was pursuing this channel like it was the only thing in my life for a bit, as if it was the solution to my feeling of a lack of purpose or my feeling of a lack of direction. And it kind of messed up the whole purpose of this channel, right? The whole purpose was to leave this as a space for journaling, as a space to share my story and never stop doing it, right? Because I just want to keep it public and I think that's a cool experiment. But I want you as well to remember that it's okay to take a break and just breathe for a bit, right? Allow yourself to sit back, recollect yourself, re-explore your passions, desires, and maybe take some time to look inward and do some introspection. For example, if you're in school and you're studying for class, this can be hard to do with them because how do you get away from having deadlines and having grades to keep up with? And I'd say it's a tricky one to solve. Perhaps you can do it during your weekends or dedicate some time to doing it. Perhaps take a day where you take two hours just to do nothing but journal, maybe meditate, hang out, go do some self-exploration, go see a new part of the town you're in, or just simply relax and take a break away from all the school you've been doing. Another thing I want to add with taking a break is sometimes we get so stressed out with life and we forget that it's actually important to ask for help as well. And asking for help in a way can be a form of a mental break. It can allow you to dispel some of the stresses you've been facing and I don't want to say put it on someone else, but allow someone else to kind of help you work some things out, right? Like if you're struggling with what you want to do with life or what kind of career you want to be in or what kind of schooling you want to go to or what major you want to be, all of that, basically everything to do with your life purpose, you could say. And really, don't be afraid to ask for help. That's where you're probably going to find who your true friends are, right? The people who will help you are the ones you want to keep around. And you'd be surprised just how willing the close people in your life or the people who are really your true friends want to help you work things out. You know, maybe they aren't the best person to talk about it, but sometimes just simply taking a breather, taking a step back and being like, what do I really want to do with my life? Where do I want to go? And just allowing yourself to work out these thoughts with a friend it's almost therapeutic right it's kind of what therapy has taught me is that sometimes simply by talking about the problem you have or the stress you have I'm like this guy's really determined to get me it can help you figure out what you want to do and don't feel like you have to work constantly perhaps maybe you do maybe you're in that certain engineering major or a certain career where you're just constantly working and that's hard, right? But you got to be able to find some time to just take a break and allow yourself to bring back at least some of the work-life balance back in your life. You can't just be all work. You have to be a little bit of live every now and then. Just like that, with me almost dying right there. I think it can be especially important to take a break when you're feeling that anxiety or that you could call it a midlife crisis or quarter life crisis coming upon you. Don't, don't be afraid to lean in discomfort of trying to explore that and try to figure out things. I know it's scary to contemplate your life and wonder what the hell am I doing on this earth? What is my purpose? Why am I here? But lean into the discomfort. That is where you'll find the most progress, I think, in figuring out who you are and what you want out of life. Like back to my example of me when I had to take a break, I was really starting to feel a bit of a quarter life crisis where I was like, I don't know where I'm going in life. I feel scared and I don't feel like I have a direction. And that 
I found out was to be the problem. I didn't have a direction. So I took a little bit of a break from YouTube and just took my job as an electrician and just worked my days. And when I get home, I would just relax and go journal and kind of explore what's going on in my head, right? And one important question that someone actually asked in my Discord chat, by the way, join that if you're looking for people who are will philosophical and willing to help and also just be weird, <laughs> a little quirky as well. Um, feel free to join. But point being, one of my members actually asked me, um, because I wrote in the chat, I was feeling a little lost, I'm gonna take a break from YouTube. They said, what is causing the, the dissatisfaction? And that question, I honestly did not have an answer for. So thank you, FR, none for the question. But point being, if you feel that discomfort and that little bit of, I don't know what I'm doing, start to ask yourself some questions. Maybe look up some questions, some introspective questions. Just look that up. I'm sure you'll find some good ones. And if any of them you aren't sure on the answer on, maybe lean into that and start to try to find an answer. You know, start asking your mom or your parents or your brother or any of your siblings or your friends what they think would be a good career fit for you. Or if your parents are around, ask them what you did as a child. I think you'll tend to find that the things you did as a kid tend to come back in life as future interests. Like for me, I always loved like playing with like a plasma ball and like light bulbs were cool to me. I don't know why. Anything related to electricity as well as construction stuff like big machines, buildings, architecture, stuff like that. And I realized that I kind of need to explore that side more. And that's where I landed on being an electrician. And then now, after taking my break, I realized I need to add one more thing and I'm going to actually be going back to school. I'm going to be a later joiner, not the typical right out of high school. And I'm going to go back to school for electrical engineering. It's going to be a really hard track, but I think I got what it takes. I always liked math and I'm excited for it. And I'm really glad I actually took it upon myself to explore and really figure out what was going on. And yeah. We found ourselves a new direction, and I love how this duck looks. He looks so good right now, man. And yeah, we got ourselves a new direction in life, and that solved the whole quarter-life crisis kind of thing. And you know what? I'm sure it'll come up again, and I'll have a midlife crisis, and I'll need to explore another question that I don't have the answer to. So point being, of this excessively long yap session, take a break and be okay with leaning into that discomfort you face during that break where you have to ask those internal questions that come up when you've been sitting alone with your thoughts for a while. If you enjoyed this type of content, please leave a comment down below, maybe like, and yeah, consider joining the Discord, subscribing, only if you want to really. I'm trying to keep this a small community of people who are trying to figure out life a bit and yeah, Got to remember not to be concerned so much with growth of the YouTube channel, but just keep this as a place for me to vent out some thoughts or experiences I've gone through that may help you, the viewer. Be sure to check out the live streams every Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I don't know how to do an outro, so we're just going to outro it right here by hitting this cow. See ya.